my studio now and I have tried these on and I've struggled so I'm just gonna measure out the waist to make sure whether this is actually a waistband that'll fit me because if not we're gonna have to add more material into the sides so get my trusty measuring tape measure all the way around I'm a comfortable 28 waist and these are a these are a 29 so fingers crossed when I've got enough material around the thighs that they will fit nicely on my waist so that's good to know that they'll fit up here now so yeah the plan is to cut them above the knee and then to use the excess fabric from the bottom to put an extra two panels on either side of my thigh to make it a bit more roomy um, but before we just cut away at the knee what I'm going to do is actually unpick the entire seam with my trusty little arts and crafts scalpel and then when I get to the top to then try it on again as a waist with all the material flapping around so I know roughly how much extra I would need to build into the side so yeah here we go I'll probably start from the bottom I've been so excited about this trouser for such a long time that you just you just keep going okay there's a seam on the bottom there so I'm gonna leave that because my foot can actually get through that I'll just keep unpicking as I go up the outer seam until I get right to the waistband and then we're gonna try them on again and see what needs doing because realistically this is the seam that you'll be unpicking anyway if you want to sew in an extra panel on the side you just keep going all the way along to the end and I'll see you later because I think this calls for at least a feature length movie because this is going to take a while actually I don't think this will take so because I want to be eventually able to roll them up and to have like a nice pastel called summer short I found it important to leave enough material underneath so that I can still roll it up without them getting too short so what we have here is quite a substantial gap where my thigh was just simply not going to fit so what I've done is measured the distance here but realistically if I were to sit that would be too tight so I'm giving it a little bit more and I'm giving it just about 8 inches of slack so there's still quite a lot of give and if I were to squat and knee whatever um, there should probably still be enough slack so then we go down to the length of it about 16 inches below the waistline on either side to cut along here so that I have all of this excess to work with to fill in this gap. So here is my mark that I've made and with the measuring tape I'm just going to double check that the lengths are equal from either end of the inner seam from the bottom of the trousers. And now it's time to cut along the lines. And here we have a lovely bit of material that we will be using to replace the empty triangle on the side of each thigh. And it's actually quite handy because these have already got a seam running down the middle from the inner side of the leg. So we'll just do that again, put this material to one side and do the other leg. And that's the shorts. And here's the other bit of material, lovely felt on the side. Let's see what we've got and try them on. So this is what we've got. It's a little tight at the crotch as well but I think with enough material it'll kind of slack off. I'm going to open up these seams as well because I think we're going to have to insert an entirely new triangle panel and then I'll be pinning in material as and when I feel like it fits. Alright so another 10 minutes later, we're now all the way up here. In we go with the first bit of material. So I feel like it makes sense to start from the top because it goes out. So I'm gonna start with the other end where the leg goes and take it to the top. I think really, I should be wearing the other inside out. But ultimately, it'll be kind of like a pleated finish to the shorts, but cut at the same length. Be more like a short skirt, really. I'm gonna wear them inside out. Okay. Okay, so here we have the material, a little scrunched up around the back. Uh, we can, I can work with this, it's fine. 
lovely long big pockets on either side, which is necessary in my books. Yeah, let's let's go right in. Stick this one to the top on this side. That going. And stick this one to the top on this side. And we're basically halfway there. So we're gonna keep going. So I take in from the inside, I put it onto one another, and then it just take a pin and pin that together all the way along. Now I understand this is a highly questionable method, but for someone who doesn't sew a lot, for someone who's basically making a whole entirely new piece of clothing. Eventually we'll be sewing these seams together and creating something beautiful, hopefully. And now like with a fringe, I'm just like teasing along and that's roughly the same size. That's roughly the same size. I think it's time to see what these look like taken off and inside out or outside in. Again, we'll see how well I've pinned it together because right now I can't, I'm not a contortionist, I can't turn my body around the whole way around so We'll see how it looks. Okay, so this is how it looks now. There's a bit of a crotch situation going on. I might actually have to add a little bit more material to the front. But, I'd say that's pretty good, except for the seam isn't central. But, I can swing it, make it a bit more central. Other than that, yeah, I'm pretty damn happy with it. The way it falls, it kind of falls naturally. So along here, I might I definitely Runnable, walkable. Alright, let's sew these guys up. Again, please don't be mad at me, I have no prior experience making trousers into shorts and I didn't watch any tutorial videos, so my guess is as good as yours as to how this is actually going to turn up, so bear with me. Now let's sew this together. Quite a clean stitch going kind of diagonally down and now we're ready for this side. That's the shorts done. It doesn't look too awful, but now we're gonna try them on. So this is how they look now. And they're all sewn on. Except for the top bit, this will be hand stitched. There's like little little holes where they still need to be combined. I mean, it's, it's quite wide, but I think once rolled up, it'll have that kind of chic mom jean vibes. So now we're gonna go ahead and cut along the bottom and try and even out this, this length. This is what I do now. This was never going to be perfect. This is more of an experiment. I don't have any words. It looks fine on the back. It looks small on the front. See, the question now is do I want to keep it as a short or a skirt? Because with these flaps, I can make quite a nice skirt. All I have to do is open the seam up and sew it up again. And then it would be like, hey look, I have a skirt now. But if I were to cut it and make it into shorts, I think that would still be cuter. And then if I were to roll it up, because ultimately that is the plan, I think the white and the mint just have a really nice effect together. And I mean, it looks a bit like a diaper right now, but if you think about it, slightly tighter. No, it looks like a diaper. Hmm. I'm gonna brainstorm. I'm going to have to brainstorm a bit. Hmm. So I've asked for some advice from my thrifty ladies, and the general consensus is that the shorts are better, and I agree. And in general, shorts aren't something I really wear often, so we're just gonna go straight into it, and we're gonna cut off some of this weird excess. I'm gonna make us some shorts. Okay, so. We've got the trousers, you can't see because the angle of the frame is too tight, but we can, I can tell you this, that this, no, never mind. I need to cut off a lot of the excess that we have sewn on to the trousers because that was just way too much excess. That's like skater skirt level excess, which we do not need um, for shorts. So first things first, we need to deal with this little doodah, um, which means taking it inside out 
uh, redoing some sewing because that's already coming loose here and stitching it in together and cutting off this bulky bit that used to be the ankle trim when it was still a pair of long trousers. So we're just going to sew from the inside this bit together. I need to get myself a wide angle I think because this is not a big enough frame. What I mean is is that we cut the bottom of the trousers along and we want to cut off this bit because it's thicker. It's been it's doubled up material and that will just do no justice on. It won't do any justice on your waist. So we're going to cut that and as you can see it was sewed along up there and along up there but it wasn't connected in the middle so we're going to like, sew that bit up as well to avoid those big gaping holes on the waist. And the same on the other side. Now, this material is thin enough to be able to sew along all the way up here to the other seam and back down again so that this is all nicely connected because right now there's a hole and we don't want a hole. So we're going to sew it right up and make it nice and neat. I'm just going to go ahead and start cutting these bits off because I think we can just line them up and be done with it. And the same on the bottom and the other side. These are my incredibly wide shorts but let's try them on. Okay so this is what we've got right now but obviously there's far too much excess and I've decided on making them into shorts. So what I've noticed is that along the seam all I could do is just sew that seam together to this seam and then we've basically got like a flat a flat edge. I'll just pin that together. And the same on the other side. So pin the two seams together. And I think if I sew along this now and redo my hem so they're a bit longer, I think well I think I think we've got good shots there. It's actually pretty cute and they're a lovely colour. And I'll just sew on the button again. But other than that, let's see where this takes us. Okay, so we have unpicked the edges, the sides, and turned it inside out. Now, going back to the video that I did earlier, it's the back two panels that need to be sewn together. This is the back panel, this is the bottom, if you will, this is the side panel, and then this is the front and the pocket. See, this used to be the leg seam that I've sewn into the side of the shorts, and we are going to sew the back panel to the edge of the trousers, which will be along here. But when you turn inside out, you'll have this weird flap, so we're going to sew it this way around. Yep, that makes so much more sense. Okay, I was trying to get my head around it, but now this, this makes sense. Okay, we we'll go back to our pins, and we start sewing these two seams together. Or pinning these two seams together, even. That makes a lot more sense. As usual, I'm not going to be perfect with this because realistically it's not going to be perfect. But we can still try our best. Yeah, no mean in no means is this gonna be perfect, oh my god. Okay, so we're just gonna go across my pin. Pin, pin, pin. What? No, there she is. Got it. I'm gonna keep going along, feeling together, feeling along where the two seams are and pinning them together and just keep doing it until you get to the bottom and then rinse and repeat do it on the other side all right now we've got this relatively nice edge with the flap on the inside so that you'll eventually be able to trim along and to the other side so this was the outer seam of the trouser leg this is the front pocket this is the back of the trousers and now we're going to sew the back of it like we did at the front. So roughly those seams come together and you pin it together. And this is just the same, same process. Kind of feel for the seams and then pin it together. Feel for the seams, pin it together. See, this seems to really be actually perfectly lined up. So just feel. See, now, okay, at this point it's basically lined up now, I can feel exactly that they're on par with one another. We'll just keep pinning together in no time. And we get to the bottom, the other seams pin it together. Right, 
now my intent is to sew along the seams to make a new seam that goes along here. As you can see, we're going to cut out these excess bits afterwards, but first we're going to sew along these seams. This is how they look now, and I'm, I'm pretty darn happy with them. Now the question is whether I fold them up a little bit, maybe not this much, but like a bit, or fold them under, you know? But then to be fair, like, if I, if I sew them like this, I'll always be able to roll them up like this. So I might sew them round and under first. Let's try it with the blazer and we'll see what looks better. Yeah, it's a tough one. I think realistically what would make most sense in the ATS-esque style would be to actually have the shorts longer than my blazer. But my blazer, well I made the mistake to cut the trousers a little bit too short when I first started amending them. Because if I were to not amend them at all, then this is probably the most retro length I could have it at. And yes, ignore the button, it's still missing, I will sew it on right at the end. So I think, to start off with, the best thing to do is just to sew a little clean hem around the edge and to see what that does. Just walking back to the studio. And here we are again. Okay. Time to pin these shorts round. Alright. Move that away. All right, so as usual, inside out, cut the excess because we don't need that anymore. But make sure not to cut through your actual sewing. So I would just do one half at a time. Don't cut through both because you might just cut like that and then you'll just be heartbroken by all the hard work you've just put in. If it cuts too hard at some points, that probably means that you're cutting through more than one layer of fabric. So just, just, just be wary of your scissor strength and the feeling. See, like, that's already quite close. I just cut through this little bit here. Silly me. So that's one side done. Because when you hem your trousers, you don't want to have to hem all of this with it as well, because ultimately you'll be going along and sewing along here, and then you get to this flap and you're not gonna, you're not gonna sew along, you're not gonna sew along that, that's, 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 get rid of this, get rid of, you don't want that. Almost done, right, now we go around and just a little bit, I think, mm, I'm just gonna go around once, usually I would hem it and like double it, so one, oop, one and two and then sew it, just so it's a bit cleaner on the top on the inside as well. But that would get rid of quite a lot of length, as you can see, that's a lot of material. So we're just going to hem it once, roughly a centimetre long, and then we just go and pin it. Some people pin like straight, and some people pin perpendicular, so that when the sewing machine comes along here, you can just very easily pull the pin out, as opposed to pulling it from under the stall, or under the, the sewing foot. Um, Whereas I prefer to risk breaking needles and I sew parallel with my seam. So as we go around, because I added extra material, there's going to be a bit of stress on some of the fabric that isn't perfectly straight. As you can see, this is perpendicular to the edge of the shorts, but then the next patch of material is slightly more diagonal. Um, but I think it'll be fine. Overall, it's not going to make a huge difference. Now with these chunky bits, you're going to want to be careful with getting the sewing needle across it. Um, it's probably better if you just crank it on the edge with, with, the, with the wheel. Um, just to put a little less pressure onto the fabric itself because this kind of little knobble will break your needles. And I have done that three times with another pair of shorts and I regret it. Um, Long story short, always make sure you have enough sewing needles because it sure damn well help in the future and you will be thrilled to have spares if you do end up breaking yours. Okay, so we're basically all the way around. The more needles the merrier, there's no harm in adding as many as you want. But this is looking, this is looking pretty neat. I'm quite happy with that. So now we're just going to do the exact same onto this side. I mean this, I'm, I'm dreading this, this is a mess because folding that over is just... Ugh. Whatever. We'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, seeing the end of this shorts or trousers to shorts conversion video, 
I am actually getting really excited because I think this is going to turn out much better than I, than I thought. This is already looking so much better than I thought. These are the shorts, guys. Oh, no, you can't see a thing. Hold on. Alright, so this is what we've got. I'm getting stabbed from all sides wearing the needles inside out, but we'll be sewing along here, around the bottom, all the way around, and then I think we'll be done, besides the little doodly doot button. Yeah, so I will see you in about five minutes. And there you have it guys, and I must say, it feels incredibly good to finally wear them without being pin pricked all the time at different places because of all of the pins, but this is it. You can see there's like a nice little seam here, and if I did want to, I could easily just roll them up myself and there it will actually stay in place now. I mean, with a bit more work, but like, if I wanted it, that's easy. There were like a couple of bits where it still snags and like, it's a bit, <laughs> this isn't very long, but now for the real killer, it's time to put on the blazer. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but this is exactly what I had in mind. And I am pretty excited now to go wearing it out in summer. Also, as a massive note to self, uh, I filmed that in 4K. Just because you can film in 4K doesn't mean you should, because your computer probably can't handle it. So, um, it's in the works to try and upgrade my computer to a rig where I can edit 4K, but until then I'm going to stick to the comfortable 1080p, which ultimately might do me some favours, because then you can't look at my nose and see all of my <laughs> spots and everything. Um, but yeah, um, it's been a while. But I've got more things to come, one being I rearranged my room. So there's a video of that coming soon, <laughs> whenever I get around to it, because thankfully that was not shot in 4K because I learnt my lesson editing this video. I recorded that about two weeks ago, um, and it took absolutely, it took absolutely forever to film, and I wasn't. <laughs> Because of all the little alterations and amendments, it was taking forever to always like perfect it. Not that it was perfected at all, but um, I have been wearing it out since. Um, the weather's... now it's better. It has been raining a lot. And I haven't been able to wear it with blazer because it was too hot. Now I'm definitely very happy with how it turned out. And I hope that you took something from this video and learned something. I know I did while making it, which is measure and leave more excess than you need because you can't put it back, not in the same way that it was before. But yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.